Hello everyone. Zone 7, May 4th, northeast of Atlanta. This time of year, between the grass clippings and getting out the, the spring stuff, the compost piles are full. This one is rotting down and already has some squash or butternut or something starting to sprout out of it. This one is where I've been throwing the spring plants and you see some of them are flowering and it's got a long way to go to be ready. These are the new ones that I built uh, last fall. And the one that was composting at the time, I couldn't move it. It's this one. And as you can see, it's falling apart. But now it's time to get something out of this one and get the dirt into the garden. The problem we always have is that, of course, it sprouted weeds. There's stuff that didn't compost down, sticks, stuff you don't want. So you need to sift it. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I took an extra 2x4 and cut it into a two foot length so I'd make a two foot square. I had some hardware cloth half inch and of course it comes two feet. So that's why I chose two foot. And now I'm gonna put this across the top here of this little wheelbarrow, garden cart or whatever, and set this up and this is how we're gonna sift it. And what falls through is gonna be the good stuff what doesn't fall through is going to go over into the newer compost pile and let it continue working. When I get this thing all done here, then I can fix this one up so it looks nice like the other two. Uh, they last a couple of years and then, you know, the wood just falls apart on you and you have to rebuild them. But I've got a pretty good source of cheap pallets and a lot of you can get them for free. So, I'm not that lucky. So, I'm going to get the camera set up here and we'll start doing some sifting. Made it small so I could actually work with it. If you're younger and stronger than me, you might go with a bigger one. But a little two foot square over a garbage can is about what I can over a crate or something. It's about what I can do. Some of my larger pots, I can put this thing right over the top of the pot and sift the soil right into it, which is really nice. So, and then you're left with this stuff. It's not really what you want in the garden yet. Flip that over. Keep going. Hard to believe that none of this was soil. This was all garden waste. Anything that would break down, then we put, as you can obviously tell, chips on top. Got some grass clippings, but this would have been done late in the fall, so there wouldn't have been as much grass clippings. But all that stuff turns into this. It makes soil. It's free. It's stuff other people put out for the trash. Put it in a pile. I don't turn it. It'll go faster if I turn it. Well, I got three piles going, and I, I get... Usually I'll get two a year out of each. That's a lot of compost for my small garden. This particular compost here is going to end up having, I think is going to go into a pot with some basil. It certainly ought to grow some really nice basil. Here's what you can see here. This is about the most gorgeous stuff imaginable. And it is just truly gonna grow some unbelievable herbs and vegetables. So, I'm gonna keep doing this till I get a little more. 
then I'll come back to you. All right. I picked out a good sized pot, put some leaves on the bottom, kind of help hold the water in, keep the soil in, and then I'm going to put in some of this compost. Hard to beat the sifty compost through a half inch mesh, huh? It is something to see. Okay. Now that we've got that ready, I've got some basil plants here, just regular sweet basil that I started from seed. They are, as you can see, in, in good growth, good time to get them into a pot. Good time for transplanting them. One there. Here's another one started from seed. We've actually had this one inside under the lights and we've been picking it. Put it on pizza the other night. You cook your pizza and then after you take the pizza out, then you put on some chopped basil leaves. Really adds a lot to it. So I'm going to dig a hole for this one here. And there we go. Now, give this a good water and put a label in it. Place it over where the rest of the herbs are. So that's how you can take your compost pile, sift it down into some beautiful, beautiful soil for your plants, put it in pots, and make it go again. Last fall, this was all kinds of garden waste, wood chips, eggshells, whatever will compost. Now it's soil for growing basil. And the cycle will continue. So this is, this is Grow and Eat This, Dave Ramsey. Zone 7, northeast of Atlanta. May 4th. Time to be getting stuff in the ground and in the pots. If you like this, please subscribe. Uh, We'll keep these going as quickly as we can because it is planting time. Thank you for watching.